Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Technolearn BLM. Today in this video, we are going to learn about implementing the half header circuit in Xilinx software using VHDL language. So for that, without wasting time, just let's get started. So now, from your desktop PC, open up the Xilinx ISC 9.2Y software or whatever version you have, it does not matter, just open it up. Here I am opening my one and wait for a moment. Yes, the software is loading, so just wait. Now, here you can see the Xilin software has already started. Now simply go to file, click new project. Give the name of the project, I am giving it as half header. You give as you wish and keep it as HDL. There are many options but only go for HDL and click on next. And here, here maybe uh, Verilog is also maybe there but you just select VHDL. Click on next. Now create a new source. Go click on new source and here select the VHDL module and give the module name I am giving it also half header you may give, uh, give whatever you want just click on next now give the input variable and output variable you know for half header there are two input variable and two output variable the, here I am taking the input variable A and B and output variable s and c so there are four sequence binary sequence 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so now take the input and output variable so i am taking it as input variable as a and b and the output variables as s and C. The output we will select as out only. So now click on next and finish. Now next, next, finish finally. And wait for a little. Yes, here you can see the codes of this project. So now go to the begin option begin and end here you should use process after begin you use process process statement and as the arguments pass the input variables since here input variables is a and b so i am passing just a and b now uh, sorry Actually, what does the process statement does? Actually, it's the codes will write for the binary sequence inside this process only. And this process statement only states that if there is a sense in the values of A and B, that is the input variable, then there will also be the sense in the values of S and C, that is the output variable for half header. So, just now process, process has been created and now begin the process. So, write begin v g i n here and now we we write the sequence this all binary sequence using condition that is if else condition so now if here inside the if condition if what is the for first sequence we will write here for the first sequence only here see the first binary sequence this is the first binary sequence so what is the value of a for first binary sequence and value of b for first binary sequence is 0 so now right 0 0 both are 0 0 so value of a is equal to 0 and value of b is equal to also 0 so here bracket close now if a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 then then 
you see if a equal to 0 b equal to 0 then value of s is equal to 0 c is equal to 0 so right here then initialize the value of s s is less than equal to initialize the value as 0 and uh, value of c is also less, 0 initialized So zero. This this code you see from the if to this is for only the first binary sequence. Now write for second binary sequence also here L chip will use L chip A L S I F L chip the value of A equal to zero just copy it down. Control C and just paste it paste it here. Control D. The see for second binary sequence, what is the value of a and b? 0 and 1. And the output variable is output values is 1 and 0. So for 0 and 1, so it is 0 and b is 1. B is 1. Then the value of S and C. What is the value of S and C? Just copy it down here and just uh, and value of S is equal to 1 and C is equal to 0. Now for third sequence, here you see the third sequence, third sequence, this is the third sequence, this is the third sequence. So here A is 1, B is 0, S is 1, C is 0. So for the value of A1 and B0, for the values of A and just copy it down here directly for third. Control C and paste it here, Control V. Now here you see the value of a is 1 and values of b is 0 now what is the value of s s uh, as is also one here you see as is 1 and c is 0 so now for the third binary sequence fourth binary sequence the last binary sequence so copy it and paste it so what is the fourth binary sequence that is 1101 1, so for the values of a and b 1 and b is equal to 1 the values of s is equal to 0 and value of c equal to 1 so this is the almost program is almost completed but here we have to end the if since we have started if here so we have to end if so write end if and also and also the process we have started the process here we have started the process here so we have to end the process so right here end process and process so give a semicolon here oh, sorry so the program is completed now check the syntax and save it so save it just click on uh, clicking on this now go to implement design synthesize XST and check the syntax. Here you can see the check syntax completed successfully. Now view the RTL semantic. View, click on the view RTL semantic. Here you can see the symmetric view that is the half header. This is the overall design of half header. If you want to see the internal design also, then just double click on it. And here you see on double clicking, you will see the internal designs using or and and not gets. So this is the internal design. So you can and just close it after. Closing the RTL view now, go to the project, click on new source and select the test bench waveform. Now give a name, I am giving it as half header, half header TV, half header underscore TV. Now, after giving the num, click on next and yes, uh, click on next, finish.
now click on the com uh, combinatorial and click finish so now set the values of a and b that is the input values so first one is 0 0 second one is 0 1 third one is the 1 0 fourth one is 1 1 again you set it 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 say so after setting this up save this project save and now go to the processes uh, here go for sources for now click on it and select the behavioral simulation and then here in the process dialog box just click on this xilinx isc simulator and here double click on this simulate behavioral model wait for the wait for a little and here you see the output has come in the waveform and this is you can see here for the input variable a b 0 0 the output variable is 0 0 for 0 1 for a 0 and b 1 this is s equal to 1 and c equal to 0 uh, for this 1 and 0 1 0 and for 1 1 finally for 1 1 this is 0 1 this is the output we needed for thank you for watching the video if you like the video then give a thumbs up comments below and share the video if you are new to my channel then do subscribe it and press the bell icon for getting updates of my new videos